Uh, good afternoon to one and all uh, present here. I am Kannan from uh, CT department at SNS Rajalakshmi College of Arts and Science. Today we are uh, discuss about uh, in video lecture the OSI reference model in network communication. It is an introduction. The OSI model is a fundamental of framework for understanding network communication. It defines a seven layer structure that organize the function of networking. Each layer plays the specific role in the communication process from physical transmission, application, interaction. First we are discuss about what is a physical layer. The physical layer is responsible for the actual transmission of data. It deals with the physical connection between devices including cables, connectors and uh, electronic signals. This layer defines the hardware elements of the network. Next we are discuss about what is the data link layer. The data link layer the manage the transfer data between devices on the same network. It en ensures reliable and error free communication through techniques such as error detection and correction. The layer uh, handles the MAC address, it is a medium uh, access control, addressing and framing. Next, next one is the what is the network layer. The network layer is focused on routing and forwarding data packet between different uh, network. It is a data, the sending and receiving time, it, it is a data forwarding data packets and uh, best path of data transmission and uh, address and logical network and topology we have uh, supporting for this uh, network layer. The layers enable end to end communication and across a multiple network. It is a network layer, uh, uh, basically we have to transfer the data between uh, sending and uh, receiving uh, forwarding of data packets, uh, easily we can uh, sending and receiving, uh, no traffic, we can uh, uh, sending time and receiving time, uh, that is uh, we are using to this uh, network layer, the, uh, the particular network. Next one is what is the transport layer? The transport layer is reliable and efficient uh, data transfer between end system. It manages end to end communication. It is a end to end communication, it is segmenting and reassembling the data and providing the error checking and uh, flow control. The layer is establish connection and manage the data delivery. How to transfer the data between end to end communication? Uh, that is main reason of uh, uh, data sending and uh, receiving uh, the particularly we have using to transport layer. Next we are discuss about what is the session layer. The session layer is establishes the maintenance and uh, terminate connection between applications. It manages session, synchronization and uh, dialogue control. We allowing the multiple application to communication communicate across a network. The layer provides a framework for organizing and uh, structuring data exchanges. The main reason of this uh, session layer, uh, it is a uh, data uh, terminate the connection between application, it is managed the session and, uh, and also the layer is providing the framework, the organizing the structuring of data exchanges, the mainly we have using to the session layer. Next, what is the presentation layer? The presentation layer is responsible for data translation, the encryption and uh, compression of uh, it ensures that the data in readable format for the application layer and handles data security and privacy. This layer deals with data representation and transformation. This application layer next one is uh, the access to network services and resources. It supports the communication between application and end user, providing interface for network functionality. This layer includes the protocol, email file, transfer and other network services. The conclusion, the OSI model provides a comprehensive framework for underlying 
the uh, complexity of network communication uh, dividing the communication process into the distinct uh, layer and the facilitate the development of implementation and uh, troubleshooting of network uh, system under the, uh, understanding the osi model is essential of network engineer and administration thank you